time between AI and ETs. And so typically what we'll say is if you're going to repeat donors, it's a minimum of six weeks from flush surgery to flush surgery. And so the question is, well, why, why is that? <clears throat> well, how quick do you turn cows around and flush them? So 42 days on a cow, and that's not surgical. No. That's standing in the sheep going through the cervix. Okay? So these are animals that we're, we're programming them, we're, we're flipping them on their back, we're cutting them open, we're doing surgery. So they need to have time to reset their hormones, they need to have time to, to get the body healed up, and their body wall healed up, and get the inflammation down, and all those things in their body. So six weeks is kind of the minimum turnaround on embryo transfer. If we go seven or eight, that's great. Uh, but six is as quick as we'll turn them. Uh, and there was a lot of work, there was a, there was a, uh, there was a, years, many years ago, if you ever get the chance to meet Dave Osborne, uh, he's one of my best friends in the world and mentors in life, so get a chance to see him, meet him, do that. Um, he's an Australian, so he used a lot of colorful adjectives, um, so just have to ignore that. He's a wonderful guy, has, has a world of experience, been in the business for 50 years. And so years and years ago, when this whole game started, there was a place called Grange over there in Australia. And they were flushing those, and they started off flushing them in three weeks, and four weeks, and five weeks, and six weeks. And they did, they did that for 50,000 flushes, something like that. And that's where they determined six weeks was the point where if you got less than six weeks, the results dropped off. You had to get six weeks in order to make it, um, to make it worthwhile, if you will. So that's where that data came from. 